These were literally the last candles. Oh, we got the last, the last, the last Buddha Rangers in the house. Reminiscing about the good old days at the Lamleys where we all met. But now here we are at a new endeavor, private one. One that speaks of freedom. One that entails a lot of work, sweat, blood and tears. But it is because everybody in this place at this moment believes, believes in what we all love. Movies. Imagine doing something that you love to do for what you love to do. Why else? If you do something that you love to do, when everybody says, ah, oh, oh, it's a child. This is why we're doing this because why are you doing this, sir? <coughs> Bless you. To be put on the spot. <coughs> Bless. You. To be put on the spot. man right there I think what you're asking you know mm -hmm. if you're talking about the theater it's so uh, it's such a rare thing, you know, to be, you know, in a position to, you know, exhibit in independent films, you know, art house films, international films, um, I grew up, you know, just really enjoying a lot of movies, uh, and as I got older, you know, obviously, you know, you get more interest and you end up watching more. So um, I wound up working at a theater and then just really watching so many more films. And um, be to be in a position to um, you know really provide a forum for independent filmmakers independent films in this city is you know it's huge and I think about it, you know, I think about it often, and, um, um, just the idea of being that, you know, that, you know, who, who's next, you know, who's the next filmmaker that's just gonna get, you know, like, shot, out of a canon uh, as a result, you know, of something, you know, that we helped contribute to, you know, by exhibiting their film here. So, that, that's cool to me, you know, like, just helping people out. And I think in our almost five years, we've, we've done our part. You know. We got a short film that actually played here that won the Academy Award. Which one?
two short films. And the recent one, yeah. The music one. Yeah. Yeah, he played that one. Um. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff too that you know that we screened and um, or or even other films that maybe got like you know a week run somewhere else or two weeks and then we wound up showing here for a few months. Mm -hmm. So you know that's that's the kind of stuff that I I think about you know. Like, this is, there's some filmmakers out there that, and actors, you know, that got like a nice little jump, you know, at least, uh, you know, locally and stuff, you know. Um, this place is, you know, showing everything, every all at once for 11 or so months. And they're having Michelle Yeoh bring her people from her uh, Netflix show, The Brother's Son or something, and and it's like, wow, you know, we're, we have Michelle Yeoh, Academy Award winner now, Michelle Yeoh, Academy Award winner. Oh, too bad I wasn't here because I would have been like, I love your Star Trek. And of course, she's really, she's really nice. Uh, Hidden Tiger, Dragon, what is yes, it? Hidden Dragon, Dragon, Tiger. Dragon. She was a ballerina dancer. Dragon. That's where she got her start. She was a ballerina dancer and then she got injured. She like broke oh. her ankle or hurt her knee or something like that. And then she had to pivot to acting. Oh. And then that's when she started doing it because like of her ballerina dancer career she was really good at doing action films especially chinese ones because they're kind of like you know with the movements and all yeah because all the it's, it's all like uh, choreography yeah so she was it's all choreography like, like the fighting and then she was in i think her first like big one was jackie chan's like police academy two. Oh, oh the police yeah, yeah the police series yeah oh yeah. wow and then after that she's catapulted yeah t hidden tiger yeah. dragon then the Ah. Well, then you know, knowing that uh, Mr. Red Rocket Sean Baker coming to the theater, we're showing his film in 35 millimeter. That was one of our highest accomplishments. Or me meeting none other than Alejandro G in a read to coming. In and you know, leaving us a little message or Tarantino, it's like, whoa, 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 you know, that's what I'm talking about. That is wow. So, this next shog, just want to see all the little things coming into place, you know. For never losing hope that Lumiere Cinemas will be around. And create an impact in independent cinema in Los Angeles. Against all odds, people saying, whoa, 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 he's a child. Like, no perros, we're gonna keep going. Also got to give a shout out to Nikolai Garcia. If you're a local and if you're into the poet scene, you might know Nikolai. You know, he's got you know published materials out there. He's constantly appearing at events in the area so he's also a supporter of the theater so there we go Nikolai Nikolai there we go 
Nikolai, independent cinema and independent artists all over. Independence Day. Perro. So now, as per.